back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. And if you're new here, hello. My name is Ashley. I run things here at Oak Crow Gal. It is Saturday today. You're going to see this on Monday. <clears throat> it's been a rough week, friends. Let's start with what I'm eating today and then we'll get into why it's been um, a tough week. As if you don't already know why it's been tough. Uh, I had a slice of my keto toast this morning with peanut butter. It was delicious. Hit the spot. And then, um, oh my god, I love, I love this mug. Um, <laughs> uh, what the heck is this? Caramel, caramel cookie, Nespresso pod, um, half and half, and pure packets. Um, one of the things that they did have when I placed my Walmart order, more pure packets. Oh my gosh, it's delicious. So, um, yeah, so <laughs> this week... This week's been rough, so I was actually, so let's talk about my videos for the week first. I posted a what I eat in a day on Monday, and then Wednesday and Friday were both like non-keto videos. My plan was to um, like post my empties video and my Q&A, but also throw in some more keto content for the week. I didn't feel like, I didn't feel like vlogging this week at all. Two days this week, I picked up my camera, lasted about half of the day, and then I just said, forget it, I don't want to do this. Just not in the mood, just not motivated. The empties video and the Q&A were like videos I, were, I was looking forward to. Um, I was excited to be like creative and you know rave about products and like sit with Cernan and film a video. But in terms of like vlogging what I was eating, I was just not about it and I wasn't gonna force the content. I also just feel a little off like because I'm not posting grocery hauls um, at least currently, I'm not saying for the entire, you know, quarantine or pandemic, like I'm not going to post hauls, but at least right now I, I just don't want to. Um, that's also throwing me a little bit too, because that's such a normal part of my like YouTube schedule, my YouTube routine. So, um, videos wise, I was just like off this week because I was not motivated. So I mentioned in my last video that, um, I've been pretty emotionless through this entire thing. Um, and that's pretty much that and I and I explained that that that's because everything that's happening is so insane to me that I can't even wrap my brain around it and because I can't wrap my brain around it I can't like assign emotion to it if that makes sense it's just it's more of like a what the hell is happening awkward laugh <laughs> um than me being like in you know just despair and in tears and to, like it's so crazy that I can't feel any type of way about it. Um, and then that all came to a head yesterday. Yesterday morning, I was putting dishes away. I was unloading the dishwasher and I had a full on breakdown in my kitchen. Uh, not sobbing, but just like crying and not able to stop the tears. I think, and everything, I think just everything piled up, right? Like, um, for me it's it's missing my family i haven't seen my parents in two weeks and we're usually over there or we see each other like three times a week uh, my dad and my sister are still going to work that has me worried um the political i i don't talk politics on this channel but there's the the political climate currently um and the lack of um sane decision making it drives me bonkers and I think about it and I think about it and I spiral and then I get angry and then I don't check my phone because the more I check my phone the more mad I get like that's a whole thing uh the mental exhaustion from uh keeping a toddler busy inside um t literally 24 7 um the weather has also been terrible today it looks like a, it's gonna be a beautiful day but it has been awful cloudy rainy uh the other night it hailed like crazy um which we're just not really used to here in san diego so um i, I know everyone has their laundry lists i'm not i'm not trying to play like my tiny violin i'm just explaining to you guys like all of those things weighing on me which i didn't even feel the weight like i was it's not like i was stifling anything that i was feeling through the week i literally was like completely fine and then i but i think uh, unbeknownst to me it was all piling up and then i just lost it yesterday morning so that's kind of where i've been where i am emotionally um i'm still kind of in the same place today that i've been all week i still feel the same like just kind of like we're, we're doing it we're getting through it um and we just got to have hope that's all that we can have is like 
hope and and positivity and it sounds hokey but it's like at this point there's really not much more that we can cling on to in terms of in terms of eating it's it's i have been keto i was keto most days this week my my issue is um snacking like i I'm never home this much, so I just want to eat. Now that I am home all the time, I want to eat. I just want to eat out of out of complete boredom. I'm not not because I'm hungry um, or anything of the sort. I am just bored. I cannot tell you how many times I have walked out to my kitchen, opened the pantry, closed the pantry, opened the fridge door, closed the fridge door, opened the freezer, closed the freezer, opened the fridge back up again, find something to eat. Like, is this cycle of I don't have anything to do, so I'm going to eat something. Um, so that I've, de I've definitely been overeating, not like, um, I'm not like being a glutton. I haven't been like binge, you know, eating anything. Um, but just like on a normal week, you know, uh, <laughs> on a non quarantine week, I would not be consuming the amount of food that I am even, even being, ugh, even sticking with keto, if that makes sense. I've also noticed that I'm like nibbling at Daisy's snacks. Um, so like I'll give her like goldfish or pirate booty or um, what else? I don't know. Oh, she, uh, these she has these like um, veggie sticks. Like I'll put them in a bowl or something and then like I'll eat two. Which like is that the end of the world? No, but when you're doing that, you know, a couple times a day or every other day or whatever, then it's going to add up. So I've noticed that too, which has never been a problem for me. Um, I've had people ask me in the past, like, how do you keep all those snacks for Daisy and you're not tempted? I'm just not. Um, but apparently being stuck in a house for 24 seven, like I wanna eat, you know, three pieces of vampire <laughs> booty apparently. Um, oh, and then last night, last night we got Buffalo Wild Wings and they were having this special, um, it was a great deal. It was 10 wings and fries for 10 bucks for 9.99 um which is like price wise is crazy um so we got two orders of that because it was 20 wings um for 20 bucks and i think for 20 wings it's normally like 28 dollars i think so it was a great deal and in my head i'm like oh like cernan will eat the fries daisy will eat the fries like it'll be fine um and i had like a handful i shouldn't have had any but i had like a handful so in terms of eating it's just been rough again like i'm i am trying to give myself grace beating myself up about what i'm eating is not going to be productive it's that's not it's not nothing's going to positive is going to come from that for me so i'm just treating every day like a new day and um i jumped on the scale this morning i was 143 uh which I don't like. I don't like that number. I like to be, if you're new around here, the lowest I've been was 137. And that is like my holy grit. Like that is like my hallelujah number. Like I, that's where I feel the best. My clothes fit the best. Um, that being said, I am happy with anything 140 and under. So like 143, I mean, I'm up three pounds than where, than where I want to be. So I just don't want to see that number get any higher. Um, so I'm just going to try to be like a little more diligent. Like I'm all, I'm also kind of contemplating like scheduling snack times for myself. Like not, not to where I'm going to be like, Oh, I'm so hungry and I don't have a snack till this time, but to like actually schedule it in. So that doesn't happen, you know, like, I don't know, every couple hours, um, maybe I'll be a little bit more like, that'll make me a little bit more like regimented. Uh, so I don't know. We'll see. That's kind of, that's just how this week has been going. And I feel like that was a lot of like mumbo jumbo. I just spewed at you like <laughs> fairly quickly, but it's, it's, there's a lot of mumbo jumbo going on right now. So <laughs> it fits in perfectly. Um, let's talk about groceries really quick. So I, I just needed to like refill stuff this week. I needed eggs, half and half, uh, snacks for Daisy. I needed stuff for the dogs. I needed Ziploc bags. I needed random stuff. I placed like a $99 Walmart order for pickup. And uh, yeah, three items were substitutions, two of which didn't work for me. And then like eight or nine items 
um, they're doing this thing now where they're just like, yeah, we don't have that. Like they're not even trying to substitute it. Sparkling water, Diet Coke, um, I think a couple things for Daisy. Uh, bacon, like they just didn't have a lot of stuff. So it ended up only costing me like $60 because they didn't have so many things. So Cernan's gonna go to the store. He's working a little bit this morning and then he's gonna go to the store and get the rest of the stuff that, that Walmart didn't have. Um, and yeah, I, we're just, you know, <laughs> not doing anything today. Um, it's, it looks like it's going to be a beautiful day, so we'll probably go on a walk, but, um, other than that, it's just more of the same, and, um, I will check in with you guys when I eat uh, something else. All right, friends, it's 11.13, Cernan's at the store, I'm getting Daisy set up with some Play-Doh, I wanted to show you, I have it in a- Wait, how did I talk to Grandma? Oh, uh, Daisy wants me to tell you that she talked to Grandma, she talked to my mom on FaceTime while she was having her snack, and that was really nice for, like, a decent amount of time. And Daisy was like with it and and had like an entire conversation. I mean, we know this about Daisy. She's very vocal, but it's the paying attention and like staying engaged that's kind of tricky. And she done did it. It was really, really nice and really fun. And obviously my mom would love to see her. But anyways, um, this is, I just had this. I have it in the tumbler. I have a little bit left. So I got this at grocery outlet maybe like a month ago. I think it was 50 cents. It's by the brand Mati or Mati. It's a sparkling organic energy drink. It's only 115 uh, milligrams of caffeine, so definitely pales in comparison to like a bang or something. Um, this is the lemon ginger one, and it essentially tastes like a an unsweetened sparkling uh, iced tea. Like just like a straight up like Lipton, you know when you go to, the, to, go to a restaurant and you just order like an unsweetened iced tea, that's what it tastes like. It's okay. Uh, so I put a packet of pure in it and it was delicious. Um, it's really really good uh, Do I think you need to go out and like hunt these down? No, but if you see them for 50 cents uh, Like I did pick them up. They were really really good now The lemon ginger one is far and away better than the other flavor I tried which I can't for the life of me remember what it was that one I took like two sips and threw it away um, But this was decent. This was good. This has been in my fridge for a long time And I was like today today you're gonna drink that today um, so yeah, we're gonna do some Play-Doh, and, um, uh, I will check in with you guys later. I showered, I put a face on, um, and I feel really good. What is that? I don't know what that is. <laughs> but I'll check with you guys later. All right, y'all, this is lunch. I have four leftover wings from Buffalo Wild Wings. I think this was a sauced buffalo. Um, this was a dry rub, and then two of the lemon pepper dry rub. Ranch on the side, and then I have some... Salad. I will explain the salad in a second. So this is the salad that I'm using. This is the broccoli kale slaw from Trader Joe's. I used to get this all the time pre-keto. It's delicious. It's not keto friendly whatsoever. It's like 20 carbs. 17 net carbs per serving. Uh, but Cernan picked it up. I wrote on my list bagged salad and I didn't specify like not this. Um, but I don't want to waste it. Like if there were ever a time where I don't want to waste things, it's now. So on my plate, I have the actual slaw, which is just like broccoli and kale and cabbage. And then I put some of the, uh, there's like an almond and sunflower seed mix. So I put that and then I put on some of this on top. So I made it keto friendly for me. I made it the regular way for, um, for him. So it worked. It's fine. I'm going to eat that. I'm really hungry. Uh, Cernan is back from the store and he also picked up... Let's say hi. He picked me up some Samson. He picked me up some new LaCroix. I've never seen the watermelon. Maybe it's not new, but it's new to me. I've never seen the watermelon. It's really good. So we're actually all going to eat right now as a family. Uh, and I will check back in with you guys later. All right, y'all. So this is dinner. Um, it is a bunless, obviously. Um... Burger. So I have a turkey patty, um, a turkey burger here with a slice of Colby Jack cheese, some of this Tessa organic ketchup, half of a mashed avocado, a tomato slice, uh, one slice of the apple smoked bacon from Trader Joe's, and then a fried egg. Turkey burgers are really not my favorite, but I bought these uh, the first time we went grocery shopping when all of this happened, and Trader Joe's had no burgers. And I just thought that was like an easy thing that I 
really wanted to have like in my freezer at my disposal so I told Cernan was the one that went shopping and I was like just grab the turkey burgers it's fine so I'm gonna eat that for dinner it's late it's 8 12 I'm well aware the last time I talked to you I think was lunch I think it was lunchtime right we've just been keeping busy like being quarantined for this long I feel like it almost forces you to fill your days and so that's what we've been doing cernan has been working um a lot you know we played with daisy i did like two loads of laundry unloaded loaded the dishwasher vacuumed like i don't know i just did a lot of stuff today so that's that's just what we hello here that's just what we have um been doing so i didn't get on like in between the only thing in between lunch and dinner the, the only thing i had to eat in that time was a slice and a half of bacon i had cooked off those uh the bacon for the burgers like way earlier um so i needed a slice for certain and daisy had some i ate a slice and a half and then i did have one of these um great value cheese sticks so i'm super hungry i was honestly good until about 20 minutes ago i think just because i was so busy today I didn't have time to like sit around and think about how hungry I was and I really made it a mission to not over snack today. So that's that y'all. If you liked today's video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. I would greatly appreciate video suggestions um, down below in the comments. So if there are any like keto specific videos you wanna see or even non keto videos that you would like to see, I would really appreciate any and all suggestions. It's I mean, I can do three vlogs in a week if, if that's what y'all want. But if you have any um, any ideas, like, I'm all ears. Uh, so, yeah, I will see you guys on Wednesday. Bye, friends.